Okay, we're going to have a little bit of a look at nutrition. And again, we're just going to do the basics of this. Um, so building a base, you want some of the basic stuff in there. Um, I'll show you how to make this, which is your thing that you're going to be able to cook with. That's important. Uh, it's always good to have a little storage thing. And then the uh, workbench helps you to make some extra things that we unlock. And we'll go through all of these um, in different videos. Now, um, you will find, it's quite convenient, isn't it? You'll find creatures like this floating around. There's a gnat there. Um, if we look into my inventory, I've got some weevil meat. Um, we do need to cook these. You can pick mushrooms. You'll find them near large mushrooms, little ones. They don't really give you that much nutrition. Um, it's the same with the aphid honeydew. So you're better using these in, in, like, uh, in crafting or whatever, but because there's a lot better ways to get nutrition and to get water. Now, the first one we'll talk about before we look at cooking is water. Um, water is far rarer. Um, I'll, in one of my other videos, I'll show you how to make this um, this dew catcher. It does involve using uh, spider's web, which does make it a bit tricky. Um, but this one will help to provide water at your base that you can keep in a canteen. But as I say, this is just going to be a basics of getting you started. Uh, let's try and get out of my awful base. So you will notice sometimes you get blobs of um, blobs of water that dew forms on the uh, on the grass. So this is random, um, and you'll find them as you go running around. So you kind of have to run around like this. You can throw a spear up to get them, or you can find the back of the grass and you can knock it off. The only issue with it is it like rolls away. So be careful it doesn't end up in a puddle because then it'll become dirty water. You don't really want to drink out of puddles unless you can um, really help it. So you can drink the dew and that's pretty much like that will pretty much make you. Oh, there's some aphid honeydew as well. So that will pretty much make you. Oh, there's an aphid. Ah, uh, oh, more aphid meat. No, I can't get it. What are we going to drop? What are we going to drop? Uh, let's just get rid of some plant fiber. So um, you'll see things walking around like that. But yeah, anyway, with the water, you don't really want to drink out of the puddles uh, unless you're really dying. The game does kind of kill you pretty quick if you um, don't eat or drink. So just bear that in mind. Um, a small amount of water does fill you up for a day. If you've got one of these at a base, you're pretty much good to go. And a canteen will help as well. Um, but as I say, we'll make these in, in a more advanced video. So if you want to make a... I'll get the right name for this as well. Uh, health, uh, tools. Oh, eventually, um, if you want to make one of these, you need a bunch of pellets, not too hard to acquire. Sprig, or and grass, very, very easy to acquire. I've already done a video showing where you can get those. So to make the roasting spit, make them in your base. They stay, like, basically a long time don't really need to do any repairs or whatever uh, any food that you've got um you can then add to the roasting pit and it will cook it what you want to do though is this little timer here you want to find the things that are the most old that you've got in your storage because over a period of time um that will start to go down when you cook it you get like a you get more time with it so if you stick one of those on there you can stick you can stick multiple on at the same time and then it will the icons will change when it's time to take it off and that will give you food that keeps you full for a very long time so um at the first at the start of the game when you're exploring for a day these things will keep you going so you find weevils um they're the kind of ones with a snout on it that walk around they're pretty easy to kill uh aphids can kind of run away from you but you saw me just hunt and kill one of those and um things like the nap meat as well you can grab those and so my food levels on half if we jump into my inventory and make sure that it's the roast make sure it's cooked don't eat uncooked meat it's not great and then it fills me up and it also they'll have like buffs as well with them um that keeps you fuller for longer um and, and tell you if you can eat them and, and and so on things like that so um don't forget as well that when you do collect these things that you're always going to the analyzer and you're analyzing them each time because then it will give you additional things that you can do with it. Sometimes it's really useful, uh, sometimes it's not so useful and sometimes there's a bit of an overlap. Um, but this is one of the best things so I'll show you how to do this in a, another video but it just involves killing a spider so it, it, it requires two things to link. In fact I will show you what you need for it. Um, 
uh, meal prep do you collect it so crude rope easy weed stem easy um they are the stems of dandelions i haven't shown you that in a video if you're following the basics but you can spot them because they're dandelions uh quartzite is you can find when you go down to the cable to clear the cable there's lots of quartzite rocks down there and web fibers you need to get from web so um that's a little bit more tricky you're going to need to kill spiders and uh, certainly get into the vicinity of it which isn't too much fun um, so that's more basics, how to not starve to death at the start of the game. Um, but don't panic if you are, you know, your health's dropping a little bit. Um, when it gets down to just to the to the bottom of your bar, you probably want to start looking around for food. If you've got these things in your base, especially a roasting pit and you've got some food stored up and you got that, you are laughing. Okay. All right, cool. Um, we'll have a look at some more tips in the basics guide. Uh, we'll look at bases the next time.